the defending two-time national champions, Texas. They come into this one five and three on the year, ranked number eight in the nation. And here we go, just like old times, it's the Horns and the Aggies underway. On the attack, that Vicky Halter was there. Here comes Jenna Wenis with the first point of the night. Big sweep by Wenis. Red Nikki's going to have to learn soon to try and avoid Emma Halter as much as possible. Make sure you keep that ball off of the Bears platform. These two teams met in the postseason last year with the Long Warriors taking down the Aggies in the opening round. Texas with the early 1-0 lead here tonight. And that one didn't make it across the net, so the Horns up by two early. Again, Texas 5-3 and three entering this one. Now, you look at last year when they went over to win the whole thing. They were also 5-3 and three after the first eight games. But now, conference play underway. Texas with a couple of quick points with Kayla Akana serving. Going home with Red Nicky. A little too much on that one. And Texas up 3-0. I'm going to give these points so far to a lot of nerves. These players really got to calm down. There's thousands of people here. Led Nikki a little out of sorts on those swings. That's going to change soon. Again, 3-0 Texas here in the opening set from Reed Arena. That one hammered home by Afena Casapala. Casapala swinging so hard and running that fast tempo system from passing. This AM squad has been really impressive offensively, offensively this year. Number one in the nation in assists per set and number three in the country in kills per set. And nearly an ace by the Aggies. That one hammered by Devin Kahahawai. Logan Lednicki drops it over. That one off the tape. Lednicki right into the Texas block, kept alive. Avery Carlson sets up Wenis with the point for Texas. Great defensive effort on both sides of the floor. Relentless defense, so good with her shot decisions. And keep in mind, Shelby, Texas is playing a 6-2 for the first time in 15 years. It started with the Baylor match. And Jared Elliott told us he sees them going that way for the foreseeable future. Great up. And it drops in for the point for Texas. That was such a great dig. You have to make sure that when you're... Alter serving the energetic libero out of Indianapolis. Leading the team in aces this year. Walk the transfer, sets up, led Nikki, and again, a little bit too much on that now. AM saying it was touched. Jamie Morrison looks over, and we will have our first. Jamie Morrison, I personally thought there was a touch. For those watching, it might look like Led Nikki was wailing the ball out of bounds. She was trying to barely touch. Texas last played here against the Aggies in 2021 when they had more than 6,800. Underwood with the serve for the Aggies. Wenis tools the block. Oh, Wenis immediately wanting that ball back after getting tooled herself from Len Nicky. The Horns took the remaining three and eliminated the Aggies last year. 6-2 Longhorns, here's Ella Swindle, the sophomore. And the point for Texas, the biggest difference between running a 5-1. The biggest difference of the 6-2 is there are six hitters, whereas there's also two setters. So right now, Ella serving is the back row setter. She cannot jump and she cannot hit. She's only back row. Jenna Wenis was there. For the point for the Aggies, Logan led Nikki, the all-SEC performer. And watch for Led Nikki at the service line to also get some back row attack chances. Led the team in kills in each of the last two seasons. Wenis off the block, kept alive by Kayla Akana. On the other side, that one hammered by Rutherford. Tapped off the block, Swindle. Jenna Wenis back at it. Nice dig by Ava Underwood. Eight names the freshman with the block. Texas with youth in the middle between Ames and Singletary. Diving was Ava Underwood to save it for the Aggies. Free ball for Texas. Swindle, Wenis. Unable to get to it in time with Stinson. 
And a nice rally here in set number one. The point goes to Texas. Stinson looking frustrated not getting that ball, but Texas was playing fastball. They saw Stinson in time. Texas has won 21 of the last 22 meetings against AM. That one misses. Service error from when Only front row right now. Coaching staff feels like the passing of Jenna Winnis has been significantly better. So as you said, Skinner not playing six rotations. For the first time in two years, Emma Halter. What a play by Halter and Skinner with the point. Starting with a great dig of the night. It is Aiden Ames, the number three recruit in the nation. Flying in led Nikki. That one deflects into the stands. The power from the junior. And Aiden Ames, the middle for Texas, is back row for. Look at her breaking her platform last second. Serving for the Aggies, former Oklahoma Sooner Morgan Perkins into the net it goes. Last year they made the postseason for the first time since 2019, and off to a heck of a start this year at nine and one. Is Avery Carlson serving the Baylor transfer with the ace for the Longhorns? Great deep serve by Avery Carlson. Again, Texas running the 6-2. That means Carlson is that second setter right now. Only back row. There will be no tipping or dumping from her unless she stays on her feet. 74 career aces now for Carlson. Walk in the middle. That one bouncing around. Free ball for the Aggies. Hammered off of Skinner by Casapala. This time they go wide and too strong. Ball in the court. Largest leads. Texas in the conference, keep in mind, has won three of the last four national championships. Texas with the last two. And Kentucky, a few years before that, Longhorns with another point out of the break. 5-1 Longhorns run. Led Nikki Skinner was there. Casapalo with the point. AM needed that. Great connection with Walk and Casapalo. It's for from LSU serving. Devin Kahawai getting extended action here in the opening set for the Longhorns. Skinner denied. Casapala fired up. Suffocating textbook block. Tapped over by Singletary, saving it was Underwood. Singletary tools the block. That kills you, saw all that. Singletary, the talented redshirt sophomore, playing beside a freshman, Aiden Ames, a couple of young, but talented middles for Texas. There's a Kana. Walk. Hammered, and the block right there, denying Emily Helmuth. Morrison's gonna accept that. A lot of new faces on this Aggie squad. They brought in five important transfers in the offseason. Still gelling, Casapala in the middle, one of the returners. And right now in this opening set, pretty much everything going Texas's way. Again, there's just there's a lot of nerves right now. Aggies making mistakes they don't usually make. This is a really strong Texas A&M team under Coach Morrison. I expect things to start, start changing soon. Texas has scored on five of Fulcana's six serves so far. Nikki, Emma Halter. Here comes Jenna Wenis. But Casapala and Helmuth were there for AM. I doing a great job at reading the Texas shoulders. Yeah, Afena Casapala, one of the best in the nation. In fact, last year, she led the nation in blocks. This year, number four in the country. Kahawai. And a point for Texas. Kahawai has that long length where she is able to get more fingertip touches than most other hitters, and she absolutely uses that in her power. She got her first start of the year in their last match against Hawaii. Came up with a career-high 12 kills. Active early in this one. Led Nikki, and the point for Texas A&M. Walk really trying to get Led Nikki going. She is who the Aggies offense runs through, especially when it comes to the pin hitting. She is so lethal, she spreads the ball out. 
nearly 900 kills in her career. Here's Underwood. Avery Carlson, eight names, led Nikki. Pushed over. And the halter, Devin Kahawai. Underwood is there. Walk. Perkins with the point. Great connection with Walk and Perkins. Perkins set the ball really far off the net by Walk. Texas A&M top 20 in the nation in hitting percentage, but the service error right there. Ellis Swindle with an ace in three consecutive matches. Walk. Too strong from Humphrey. Oh. Ellis Swindle swooping in was Reagan Rutherford. Haven't called her name much so far tonight. She's had a big impact this year, the transfer from Kentucky. Look at Reagan Rutherford on the National Player of the Year watch list, along with Madison Skinner. Out of play, off the hand of Humphrey. A lot of attack errors so far, a lot of service errors for AM. You wonder how much nerves are playing up. But very close with the head coach of the Aggies, Jamie Morrison, who was a volunteer assistant a few years ago under Jared Elliott. Jamie Morrison said he's trying to build here what Elliott built in Austin. Great up. Reagan Rutherford, the attack error. And Jamie Morrison in his second season. He had nine and one this year. Last year took him to the postseason for the first time. Since program, those two spoke at length before the match tonight. So far, Elliott's squad in the lead, up by eight. Emma Halter, Swindle setting it up for Skinner. One-handed save by Tatum Thomas. Aims off the block. Point Longhorns. Point Texas with that all-out defensive effort for the Aggies is unmatched. Thomas flying. There is Aiden Ames, National Gatorade Player of the Year, coming out of Prosper, Texas. That one hammered home by Morgan Perkins, the Texas native. Again, this rotation is where Ames is. Aggies trying to go on a run here as Texas has controlled the opening set. ready to go. Swindle. Here's Madison Skinner with the point. It looks like Perkins is already a little nervous to pass before Skinner even made contact. Skinner facing her body. Skinner only hitting 214 right now, but if you look at the last two years, her numbers have started off each of those seasons a little bit slow. And then they have escalated once Texas reached conference play and then the postseason as well. Brief delay. Now Carlson ready to serve the former Big 12 freshman of the year from Baylor. Texas block, Singletary and Kahawai. Singletary really getting her flowers so far this season. AM. Mariana Singletary had a career high nine blocks last week against Baylor. Nikki off the block. Skinner waits for it. Underwood is that one deflected high. Helmuth bobbled. Skinner takes something off of it. Casapala pushes it over. Halter sliding in. Kahawai. Casapala, and the point for the Aggies, 23-14. Momentum starting to go back towards the Aggies. It's going to be tough to take this first set, but take... Huge addition from LSU in the offseason. Hammered by Singletary, and eventually Texas gets the point. Set point on the way for the Longhorns. Texas offense just too overwhelming for Ava Underwood, but that was such great effort. If a and m It'll be Kayleigh Akana serving for the Longhorns. Texas hitting 300 in this opening set with an ace to boot. Set point for Texas.
walk. Well, Casa Paula brought the thunder that time, keeping the set alive for the Aggies. The kill by Casa Paula is why it's so important for Ains. Set point number two for Texas. Ellie Stinson serving for AM. And it drops in. That was up there on the tape forever. No one's going to be mad at that net ace, Alex. It gets the players, the fans going. And Texas completely off their feet. Okay, here we go. Set point number three for Texas. Again, it's Stinson. And Texas takes the opening set in their very first SEC match. Taking down the Aggies in set number one, 25-16.